اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to discuss questionnaire design, the key considerations when you are designing your questionnaire. Now, this list is definitely not exhaustive and a number of different considerations may be added later through your own reading. So, what are the key considerations when designing a survey questionnaire? Now, the first thing, it has to be reliable and valid. Now, in order to get a reliable and valid questionnaire, what I definitely suggest is that get your questionnaires from peer-reviewed journals. Now, those databases that have got quality journals like as I mentioned in one of my previous videos as well, Emerald, Sage, Springer, Wiley, Taylor & Francis, Cambridge, Oxford, Science Direct and all those databases have got quality journals. Make sure that the paper that you have selected or the questionnaire that you have selected has, has been tested for reliability and validity. The questionnaire that you select must be reviewed by an expert. It could be your supervisor, it could be any of your peers as well, it could be any of your colleagues as well. It may be a subject expert who has researched in the area. Now, it must be in line with your study context. Let's say I'm studying social responsibility in universities. Or to be precise, I'm studying social responsibility in public sector universities. And therein, let's say I've got the questionnaire on corporate social responsibility. And in that questionnaire that I'm distributing or going to distribute in the university, I've got questions on profit making. Now, public sector universities are not for profit making. They are there for a service. So, your questionnaire is not in line with the study context because although you are studying social responsibility and although economic dimension is a critical dimension of social responsibility, but that is for private sector organizations, not for universities. Let's say another example could be you want to study creativity in banks, let's say. And you are asking those questions about creativity from branch level employees. Now, branch level employees cannot be creative in the banks. It is the very senior management that can be creative. So, you are asking the wrong person. Although your questions may be right, but they do not fit the study context. Now, since we Obviously, these days we are using second generation softwares like Smart PLS, we are using Amos, we are using Lizrel, we are using M+, we are using all these structural equation modeling softwares. Now, you should have at least four items in each construct. Normally, what I prefer is five or over, but not too many, maybe 15 or 16. Now, this is not good enough. So, over five or six questions is good enough. Now, the reason that I prefer over five or six question is that during structural equation modeling, your items may be removed. Now, what do you mean by items? Now, these are questions that measure the underlying construct. Let me give you an example. Look at this. Now, this is your construct, internal stakeholder responsibilities, and these are the items. You can call them indicators as well. Some of, some of the times you are calling them variables as well. Some of the times you are calling them questions as well. And this is your response scale on Likert scale. So this is another construct and these are the indicators to measure this particular construct. Now have a look here. In each of these constructs, there are more than five or and sometimes seven, sometimes maybe six items to measure that particular construct. Now moving on, again, not too many items. Now make it concise and avoid long questionnaires. Avoid questionnaires that are four to five pages long, maybe three pages long. What I normally prefer is two page questionnaire for a study. Although it depends on the number of constructs, number of uh, obviously items in a particular construct or indicators, but again, try to make it concise and avoid long questionnaire. Now one strategy in order to make a concise questionnaire and avoid long questionnaire is to format it properly in the Word document. Now look at this format here. 
although there are too many questions that can fit in these two pages what i've done is i've formatted my questionnaire in such a way that although there are like maybe 60 70 questions but they will fit in two pages so maybe narrow your margins and let's say use a landscape format instead of portrait maybe change the font size to instead of use using 12 use 10 or 11 maybe use a different font that looks good it's like a heavy font so that there is no problem in reading the text as well so this format here obviously can accommodate many questions if otherwise you do not use this format maybe any other format make sure it's concise moving on your responses are as good as your items or indicators make sure your items and indicators are measuring the underlying construct well make sure your items and indicators are clear make sure the writing is understandable the grammar is correct the punctuation is right now if your responses are wrong this has to do or sometimes it might has to might have to do with your items or indicators so make sure you have worded them correctly like let's say if you are changing the items or the indicators so if you're changing the items or indicators make sure that you check them for grammar and make sure they are reviewed by an english expert plus they are reviewed by a subject expert as well if english is not your native language now match the response option to the item indicators or question now your response option that is the option that the respondent is going to select must match your indicator or question how let me give you an example let's say i've got a question here let's say do you like your job now this is the question that i've asked now the natural response would be yes or no now if you've got questions like this do you like your job do you love your job and you're measuring organizational commitment let's say now this is or these kind of responses are difficult to analyze using structural equation modeling where we prefer metric variables or the response scale on interval or ordinal scale or preferably likert scale or let's say you've got a question i love my job now here a likert scale would have been preferred let's say the likert scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree or let's say you've got another question i would like to switch my job now again this is a statement now when you have got a statement try to follow it up with a response scale that is on likert scale so that you can analyze it easily so your your indicators your questions or your items must match the response or rather your response options must match your items indicators or questions now again this is very important are you going to take a construct as multi-dimensional or single dimensional now let's say i'm studying csr but i've got too many variables in my study or my focus is on overall csr let's say so i'm going to select let's say a single dimensional measure of csr or multi-dimensional measure of csr where csr has got sub dimension and each of those sub dimensions is measured using different items or indicators but let's say my model is too complex and i've got single dimensional scales available so i will use single dimensional scale or my gaps are not with regards to the dimensions of my construct so it's preferred to have single dimensional scale again ask experts ask them how you should format your questionnaire whether this questionnaire looks valid whether this questionnaire will measure what you intend to measure now all these things are very important when you are designing your questionnaire and finally it is very important that you define your constructs first let's say you have developed your model now do not just jump in and 
start and start searching your questionnaire first conceptualize your constructs define the constructs as to what what they mean in your study or in the context of your study now once you define the construct once you conceptualize the constructs you know what they mean what is the scope of the construct in your study and once you set the scope this will help you decide whether it should be single dimensional or multi dimensional and furthermore when you select your or search your questionnaire that particular questionnaire must complement that particular definition that you are using for your study now that questionnaire that you have selected that measure that you have selected must be in line with that particular definition or conceptualization otherwise there will be a mismatch in the definition and conceptualization and your whole study would go nowhere again these are the key considerations for when, when you are designing a questionnaire this list is not exhaustive i would again suggest keep reading to identify more considerations thank you very much